Welcome back everybody. A little bit more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Carrying on our series of the DLC courses. This is Balata Country Club. And we're going to play the Outward 9. Uh, this is the first time I've actually played this course. I bought it so you don't have to. So let's check it out. I've, I've never seen it. I've never played it. Um, I know nothing about it. Other than it's a DLC course. So let's play it and I'll... Tell you what I think as it's we play. So at first glance, it does look a little bit like green, really, but Green Country Club. It's it's fairways and a few bunkers. Doesn't look too different. So we've got a nice straight par four to start. Uh, let's get the power shot on. You get a different funky tune. I think my favourite tune's Imperial Garden, actually. A little bit of bagpipes in it. It's quite funky. This is quite jangly, isn't it? A little bit of brass in there. So that's a decent first shot. So it loses 70 yards to go. So a little bit of altitude. That pin's a little bugger, isn't it? <coughs> Very close to the front edge, so you've got a lot of green to work with to start. So again, I might try and pitch this on and then stop it. Get a bit of ultra back spin on it. I uh, missed it. It's just got normal spin. Awesome. Wind's caught that. Champion. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, the birdie. So three foot for the birdie. Mega cup, so not much to worry about in terms of putting. Nice That's Alice Puff for a three footer, my friend. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure I'd be that pleased with a three footer. Uh, so it's normal wind and mega cups, but we're off the championship tee, so length will be the issue here today. It's a par four. So 400 yard par four. Let's get up the right hand side. So this is going to be a blind drive. As in, we can't from here see it, so we're playing over that hill. So again, I might give it a little bit of shape, just in case I'm going to clip that. So what we're going to do, we're going to play a little bit of back left, then top right. We should give it top spin, but we should bend it right to left. So, like that. Like that. Didn't put the Good power shot on, really, because at 400 yards, it's not going to make sense. I'd rather save it for some of the longer par fives, particularly on a championship T course. You know, the difference between your, your woods and your irons, that's where you want to be using it. But, you know, here's a pitching wedge. So there's no real advantage to being any closer than 100 yards, unless you can get inside 60 and get the approach on. So, wind's left to right. It's uphill. Decent lie. So let's get it up there and stop it. We've got the ultra back spin on. Oh, neat shot. Let's see what happens. So we pitched a little bit past, way past. It'll grip though, and it'll come back a bit. So I over no, that no, no. really. Go for the birdie. So I left myself 12 foot. Oh, it's an interesting no, green. Looks like it slopes up. So it'll go left to start, and then it'll come back to the right. But it's very uphill. We're really going to have to hit this. Is that enough? Yeah, oh, no, not even enough pace. Wow. Focus. So yeah, so this has got considerably tougher greens, I think, than green or green yes, city. Wow. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, missed the par. Not happy about that. So it's a par five. Par five curves around a little bit to the left. Now this might be worth a power shot just to give ourselves a good iron shot. Although I think it probably still be a wood. Got the, uh, got the impact, which always helps. I'm going to clear that bunker, fair enough, that's alright. Trying to stay on the right just to see if I can give myself a nice clean shot in. I don't think I've got the length, yeah, so we're over the trees. So let's just have a look up there. So a little bit of headwind, a little bit of right to left wind. Again, I think I can drive over that tree. Your other option is to kind of play around it. I think I'll just drive over it. So... Three wood, yeah. ultra spin. So in the middle, like this will stop. Awesome. In the middle, like it will grip. So it's going to land on go, the green. Go. It's going to grip, 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 grip. Yes. Even got a bit of backspin with the three wood. Yeah, yeah, got that to level ten. Backspin Why woods feels slightly unrealistic. Okay, tiny bit of break. Pretty flat. So left edge, firm. That should be an eagle. Yeah. I hear you, Suzuki. Was a nice eagle. 
It's a par three. Four is a par three. One sixty one. So let's just move up a little bit. Again, nice pin position, lots of green to play with. The trusty five iron out. So let's just pitch a little bit past it. Oh yeah, got the back spin. See how that one ends oh, up. Good shot. I suspect I've not. No, the wind's all right. Read the wind. Oh, just a bit too far. Just pitched too far. And that's the problem at the, when at the back when you want to kind of spin it back. But again, we've got the big cups. So what we can try here is just try and run it. Oh, sorry. So we're going to give it a little bit of top spin. Try and run it in. Yeah. Roll, 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 roll. Break in. There you go. Nice chipping. So that makes up for that. Shot. Is that our birdie? Yeah. See, I'm pleased at the birdie there. It's a par four. So, bends round to the right. Again, worth the power shot? Probably not really. It's not going to make a significant difference. Let's try and stay a bit left if we can. Although it is going to roll right on landing, just to be, give ourselves the best line in we can. So, no power shot, but we'll do it with full beans. Got the top spin on it. Master Hall. Give us another couple of yards. Oh, bounced right a little bit on landing, but to be expected from the slope. Should just have a nice line into the pin. Yeah, that's okay. And again, it, it's all about thinking that shot ahead of where do you want to be for that next shot. So again, nine iron, a little bit of wind. Which way is I'm just going to have a look? Which way is that rolling? So it's kind of gathering, isn't it? It's about there. Okay. So it's a little bit downhill. It's going to fly a little bit left off the off right. Sorry, off the line. So let's just go a little bit further left. Got the ultra yeah. spin on it. Master of all. That's not bad. Go on. You know you want to. Oh, not quite. Not quite enough, but that'll do me. Under five foot. Chance for a birdie. So under five foot for a birdie. Nice flat putt. In she goes. So five under. Oh, six. It's a so so far, this, this is this is a bit like Green Country Club, with more difficult greens. Um, we'll use the power shot here. But they're nice wide oh, fairways. There you go. It's all right. Is that tree going to be in the way? Uh, yeah, this could be a bit interesting. Oh no, it's just out, just out of the way, which is great. Okay, so 103 to go. A little bit uphill. Wind's going to take it right, but I think that's going to slope to the left, isn't it? So let's sort of play it there, because if it does pitch, it will it will want to go left. Okay, so let's get it up. Bit of backspin on it. No, only got the standard spin on it. of all. Good. That's not bad. That'll do. That's good. Again, if you leave yourself a five-footer, that's good. Wow, that you, you can see why I wanted to leave myself a five-footer. That's a heck of a break. That's probably out, to the left. outside the right edge. And it's a little bit firm. Yeah, look at the break on that. So again, that's the difference. You know, at twelve foot, that's a tricky part. At five foot, you can get away with it. So the last of the par threes. So, a little bit of headwind, but nothing to worry about. Pins tucked right in the corner there, so not a lot to work with. Now, I might want to bend this left to right a bit, just so I've got a bit of green to land on. So, we'll go up and right, and then down and left. Just give it a bit of shape. Missed the ultra spin, but see what happens there. You get a bit more green to work with. In fact, I was still a bit short. That's going to come back down. So that needed more pace. The altitude really got me there. Anytime you want to stop. So, now, can we chip this in? So it's going to just roll to the left a tiny bit on landing, but the wind will take it. So again, we want to hit it past with a bit of top spin, because it always drops it short. And let it roll up. Oh, just not enough pace. Just not enough pace. 
Just when yeah. that. So par pup. We had a chance to chip in there. You even are. Yeah. So four five to finish. Hold eight. It's a par four. It's a hole eight, nice and straight. A little kink in it. Plenty of power shots in hand. So let's use one here. Now that tree. Now that tree's interesting. So what we might do here is kind of aim there, but we're gonna bend it right to left. So we're gonna go down and left and then up and right. Like that. Yeah! Great shot! So what should happen is we should avoid the tree and just come in over the fairway like that. Nice straight up. Straightens up nicely. My worry was that the altitude would be going, we'd be going through that tree if we try to hit over it. So, little bit of slope there, is there? Like there's a tiny bit of slope? Yes, yeah, so it's going to roll when it lands to the right. And it's going to be a little bit downhill. So, let's just land it. Well, that's a bit too much power. You're going to have to grip that. Oh, it's got a bit left. Oh, is that going to Good, up? good. Go on. Oh. That's not Two foot. Jumps for a birdie. Two foot for a birdie. I'll take it. Nice bird. Again, I think the greens are a bit more challenging on this course. So one hole to go. Last one. Hole nine. It's a par five. Oh, look at this. So it's a big question mark of a hole. Reverse question mark. So let's play up to about there. And again, I'm going to put a tiny bit of shape on it. So down left, up right, just to give us that, that line. There you go. Now the question is on the second shot. Do you go over the water or do you lay up somewhere on the left? So 180. Now that slope there, that looks like it's trouble, doesn't it? So you're going to have to definitely get up. So trusty five iron. It's a side win, so it's not to worry about. Let's get it up and stop it. Bit of backspin. Bravo! Yeah, we're safely Ooh. up the slope on the green. That's not bad. I can imagine if that pins at the front, the that would be slip. very easy to get wrong. So pretty, down, pretty serious down slope to and to the left. We almost just want to under hit this and let it roll. This is all about letting it go, letting it go, letting it go. Oh, I actually hit it too hard. That needed less power. Can you believe that needed less power? We've still got the birdie pup. It's not bad. So we finish on eight under, which for the first time I've played a played a course, I'm, I'm relatively happy with. A few shots there I, I missed, but you know, that's life. So you could easily get 10, 11 under there, I think. But that's mega cups for you. I can imagine with standard or TV cups, those greens would be challenging to say the least. Oh, no one else in my group has, has played that today. 171 people played it. Yeah. I should come back and play that with my custom clubs, really. So this will be a new a new score. Your record. Yeah, it's all the fairways, which is the important part. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we'll carry on our series and we'll play the Inwood 9. Um, as we look at all the DSC courses, please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.